Welcome again to The Real Deal. Although best known for his guitar and accordion playing, Tim Eady plays over 10 instruments and has been performing in bands since the age of 12. Born in Kent, but now living in Dingle, it's no surprise that seaside landscapes have had a major bearing on Tim's own compositions. He spends a lot of time on the road, touring and performing with some of the biggest names in Irish music. So Tim, you picked a beautiful part of the world to move to. What prompted you to move from Kent originally? Well, um, my mum is from Cork and uh, I suppose we kind of grew up um, always hearing about the west of Ireland and, um, and then I saw uh, Begley and Cooney play in London in 1995 I think and um, that was kind of like the turning point. Well, so I was too young to move then but I waited a few <laughs> years but I first came when I was 16 and um, kind of been coming back ever since. Yeah. What age were you when you started playing traditional music? I was about five. No way. Yeah, I, I played the piano at five, um, and then piano accordion at about seven, and then I broke my wrist in a kayaking accident at 14, and um, I took up the button accordion after seeing Sharon Shannon <laughs> play. So I'm, I'm like, all these names are kind of, these used to be sort of um, heroes of mine. Well, they're still heroes, mm -hmm. but I've been lucky enough to play play with them, I suppose. Like, it's kind of a bit of a dream, really, you know? But um, a boy from Kent playing music with all these, these legends of Irish music. So I'm very lucky, really, especially being English. <laughs> <laughs> they would have been your influences for Irish oh, traditional music. Totally, but yeah. But do you play other types, other I genre do. music um, as well? I do. I, I, I kind of, my dad's a gypsy jazz guitar player. Well, he plays, like, a lot of different styles, but I grew up with Django Reinhardt, so, and I, so I love that style of music as well, and I love classical and jazz. I'm not so much into the old hip-hop or the hot hip <laughs> Although, actually, funnily enough, I, I play with Michael McGoldrick a lot, and Mike's um, kind of fused that with traditional music, in a way, so, well, in a big way. So I suppose I kind of have played a bit of the old hip-hop as well. <laughs> What makes traditional music more special for you then? Oh God, it's uh, it's just a rhythm, I think, and uh, like it's just so addictive. I mean, I must say, I especially like I love all of the Irish music, you know, I, and I love I've played a lot of Scottish music as well, so I, Celtic music in general. But in Ireland, I love um, Kerry music, I love mm. Clare music, I love the Gawi and Donegal. I mean, I love all of it, but I suppose my heart, I suppose, is in the polkas and slides. <laughs> And would it have just been the music that attracted you to Dingle? Because I know you're interested in outdoor sports yeah, as well. Yeah, well, it was like um, it was like Dingle seemed to be the place where you could you could make a living from music, and you've got Kerry Airport up the road, so you can you can get back home pretty easily. Quite a Stansted or Stansted, <laughs> <laughs> as I've come to know. But also, as you can see, the beautiful Atlantic. Um, mm -hmm. So I go canoeing every day, mostly in the summer. Um, and uh, I love whitewater kayaking, and it's great. Oh, it's brilliant! Hill walking, and there's everything here. Like wow. you can even go hand gliding. <laughs> so you're living the life, playing with all your heroes. Well, I suppose and so. Like doing all these I sports. suppose I'm very lucky. I'm blessed, really, to be. I mean, I feel, yeah, very, very lucky, really, to be, especially playing um, around all these amazing musicians. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like a bit of a dream, really. You know. But you must be so busy performing. Where do you find time to compose tunes well, as well? Well, I should be doing more, really, but I suppose, like, I've, I'm, I've got a little Mac, you know, and, and when I'm on the plane, I've got this old garage band and, you know, get the old mobile piano out and I suppose we'll do a little bit there, but mostly, I suppose, it's kind of in the spare time uh, or on the road, you know, but um, it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> Yeah. since you were 16. It's actually, it is actually, it's the same, it's the same one. It's got plenty of character on it. it has been, <laughs> yeah, it's, had, it's been rebuilt and I've toured, I suppose I've toured all over the, well, all over Europe and part of the world. Mm -hmm. And is that a certain make? <laughs> it is. Um, I got this guitar, um, I actually got it because uh, Steve um, was playing one at the time and I wrote to him a letter. I said, you know, what's like, can you recommend a guitar to get? And he just said, yeah, um, Takamini, you know, like right. any, like a high, a good quality Takamini. So <laughs> my dad got me this and I, I, I saved up and paid him back. <laughs> it was about a thousand quid, so it wasn't cheap. Yeah. But um, but it's still going. And 
think it, that luck comes into becoming a professional musician? Uh, I think, I mean, yeah, I think it does. But, you know, people said like this, I had a discussion with someone about this on the, on the Facebook, actually, on the old internet thing. And someone wrote me a rather crude email, basically uh, accusing me of, uh, oh, you know, you've basically walked into this. Like, you, you know, you've walked into this. And I was like, well, hang on a second. Like, you know, I played eight hours a day for six years. And I wouldn't be, like, you know, playing with Altan tomorrow if I hadn't have practiced the guitar for you. Mm -hmm. You know, so, like, it's, I think luck comes into it, but I think a lot of hard work as well. A lot of hard work. And I've constantly, I've been on the road since I was 16, like, and so I suppose, like, it's, yeah, it's luck, but it's not just luck, you know. It's, it's hard graft. Mm -hmm. Like, I used to play in, in Irish pubs in London, like, twice a week we used to travel up in the car, and it was a three-hour journey. From, from the coast and we just drive back that night and then get up for school in the morning and do the same again like next week so it's, it's kind of it's good fun but <laughs> you can see I'm looking aged yeah. <laughs>